Hey, you guys, welcome back to Romance Review TV with Lady T. And yes, we're finally hit the finale of Love Island USA season four, episode 37. Yes, the finale, our final three couples. So we're going to talk about everything that happened on the biggest night of the season. And before we do that, Take a second to make sure you're subscribed to this channel to receive all updates. And please don't forget to like and share. So I know we came off a lot on Friday's episode, but it turned into a whole lot of good stuff in this episode. So it starts on where the final three couples are, you know, they made no mention about Friday night. So they were pretty much happy about waking up the next morning getting the text message that they are the finalists for 2022 for Love Island Season 4 USA. And so they're very happy. We have, of course, Zeta and Timmy. And then we ha <clears throat> have Isaiah and Sydney. And last but not least, we got Deb and Jesse. Now, there was a lot of questions around this couple because she didn't want to become his girlfriend a few days ago. But did that change? We'll talk about it. So each of the couples talked about how they're doing and their journey so far and what they've learned in this process and pretty much where they see this, themselves going after getting off the island, going into the real world. And, you know, the thing is, is that um, we see that uh, with uh, Deb and Jesse, you know, she says she was scared. She needs to get out of her comfort zone and maybe pursue something. And Jesse had pretty much come to terms with the fact that they weren't going to be exclusive at this point. And then we also heard Sydney, who says that she has fell in love, L-O-V-E, with Isaiah. And Isaiah talked about all the things that he went through this season. We know he went through a lot aka with phoebe but all that changed and these two ended up back together so while they're just pretty much enjoying the moment enjoying being the final three we have our first final date that first final date is with isaiah and sydney and yeah they're getting ready for their date but i would say their date is absolutely beautiful um, I was wondering who's going to get the best date edit and you guys can drop it in the comment section on who you think got the best date, but each one of these dates I'm going to do as a montage and I'm going to be back. So enjoy. up while all of the remaining four islanders were pretty much chilling out just having basic conversation 
we had our next text message come through, which came through to Deb, which now it was their turn, Deb and Jesse, for their final date. And one thing we found out is that Deb decided to let her guard down and become exclusive with Jesse. So yeah, he was over the moon excited and you'll see his expression in the montage. And here we go with Deb and Jesse. final dates down one to go and by the way uh sydney broke the news that she told isaiah that she fell in love with him so that's what they're so excited about so now that final date that we have that's the remaining couple uh which is zita and timmy and you know i absolutely thought that that date was beautiful i thought isaiah and sydney's was great timmy and zita's off the chain now, I, i'm not gonna throw any shade to deb and jesse but you guys i know if you saw it you you probably you know let me know what you thought about all of these dates but they're getting ready she has that beautiful shimmery black dress and he has a dapper little suit jacket to go with uh, his outfit so let's check this out
Okay, so all of the final dates are done. Everybody looked like they had a good time. We had someone that says that they're falling in love with, uh, well, Sydney fell in love with Isaiah. Look like Deb has become exclusive with Jesse. And of course, Zimmy's romance are, is getting stronger than ever. So everybody turns in for the night. I know it had to be a long, exciting day. This is their last night in the villa. And, you know, we got a lot of excitement and some kind of like bittersweet moments because this is it for them. And they've made a lot of friendships. So now we get another text message that comes in letting the final three know to get ready for their brunch in the garden. And I forgot that they actually did this. I don't know if I the UK version did that. Maybe that they did. I don't remember it's so much been going on these last three months. But um, I thought it was pretty cool. They pretty much got the opportunity to have a little bit more conversation about some of the things that they actually said um, when, you know, they told each other they love each other and things like that. So now it's time for the girls to go shopping. And, uh, of course, they got to find their beautiful dresses. Now, I will say... The dresses that the girls tried on um, after they, you know, got there, that red dress that uh, I think that was either Deb or Sydney had on, it was absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But they had a bunch of pretty outfits and things like that. Um, but at the same time, the boys had to do right their little speeches that they had to give, the little final speeches right before they announced the winners and they had a little fun moment between them two, especially because uh, Jesse didn't know one of the words that Isaiah was putting in his speech. So I guess they had to have that as a little filler type, you know, scene or whatever. But everybody wrote their speeches. Now I got to say, Sydney, I mean, not, yeah, Sydney was deep into her speech. While the other two girls were going back and forth, Sydney was focused. She actually knew what she was going to say and everything. And um, Deb, her name, D-E-B, we had Jesse come up with her name as an acronym to, you know, describe her. So now it's time for the final um, speeches and dinner. And the commentator was talking about Timmy's jacket. I'm like, come on now. Let him alone. He looks good. And each one of the girls came out absolutely beautiful. Zeta, that dress complimented his suit jacket because it had a little bit of gold. Then Deb turned. I love that blue necklace she had on. And it blew Jesse's mind. Man, you ought to see his face. He was like, whoa. I haven't seen that expression on Jesse in the six weeks that he's been you know, on the show. And then last but not least, I think she picked the absolute perfect dress for her hair. Cause that red and that green looks absolutely gorgeous. Her red hair and that green. Now her eyes, I think are green as well. So that was a perfect touch when it came to the type of dress that she had. And so, you know, pretty much for the night, everybody is reeling. They're excited about their final night. We now have our speeches and, you know, Deb and Jesse went first. They were pretty much, I mean, this girl is a comedian. She joked her way through this. She joked her way through the whole night, I got to say. And then we had Sydney and Isaiah and pretty much he's talking about his time in the villa and how he end up back to her and how happy she is to be you know that she fell in love with him and they made it you know through all of the obstacles since they've been on the show and there were a lot to say the least because I didn't know sometimes if Sydney was going to make it through this process and then last but not least um one of our favorite couples Zimmy she put her arm on his shoulder to kind of relax him like, it's okay, babe, just say how you feel. And so you can tell that, you know, she is, she really likes Timmy. 
Now, I have not. I, do we hear the L word with these two yet? Let me know down in the comment section because I heard them say I really care about you. But they're excited about um, life outside of the villa. And, you know, it's what he say, Zeta in my two Zeta. I thought that was so cool. But these two are absolutely gorgeous together. They must be the same height. Because look like when Zeta put her heels on, she's a little bit taller than Timmy. But that don't matter. They still, at this point, look like they love each other. Whether they said it or not. Maybe I missed it. But I absolutely love the connection between these two. And they look like they're really happy with the, each other. And the other thing is they're both Geminis. So, yeah, that's an interesting match. So, our dear darling Sarah, the hostess with the most, has come on. And I got to say congratulations to her and Wells. Now, if you don't know who Wells is, he's usually in the Bachelor franchise. He's one of the guys who is one of the hosts or the bartender on Bachelor in Paradise, which comes out next month. So stay tuned for that, the end of next month. But um, it's time to, um, you know, pretty much she sat down with them, have a conversation with them, talking about their six-week journey and how far they come and how they're now finally down to final three. So now we're at the end. Our third place winner is none other than Deb and Jesse. No surprise there. I figured as much because... They were just not a solid couple until the very end. And then we have our final two, Isaiah and Sydney and Zimmy. And I didn't know. I was up in the air. They both got good date edits. But our winner this season for 2022 is Zeta and Timmy. And, of course, Isaiah and Sydney came in second place. But everybody seemed to be pretty happy with each other. Now it's time for that 100K. And so she has the envelopes. Zeta was the one that pulled the 100K in envelope. And Timmy got the $0 envelope. Now it's up for Zeta whether or not she want to split it with Timmy to decide whether she came here for the money or she came here for love. And he looked like he was kind of scared because she kind of joked about stop, you know, stepping off. And Deb was like, take the money and run, B. I was like, oh, Lord. But, of course, she split it and both of them got 50K. So, there you have it. That is the end of Love Island USA Season 4. Our winner is Zeta and Timmy. Oh, my God, it's been a long summer for me. I did back-to-back -back UK and US, and it's not done yet. Because I starting tomorrow, we're doing Married at First Sight UK. So, stay tuned for those recaps. So, what did you think about the entire season? What did you think about our winners, Zeta and Timmy? I know I voted for them, so obviously I, weren't, I wasn't the only one, but I am so excited. Here's where it really began. Uh, the reunion is this Thursday, so yeah, stay tuned for that. And also, I follow all of them on Instagram, so any new updates outside of the villa, Anything that's going on with these couples or our singles and couples that have already, you know, eliminated from the island in the past episodes, I will most definitely keep you updated with that, right? All right, so until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Bye!